This is Drew with Boomer Music Company, your band and orchestra experts since 1976. So once again, we're here at our Fall Boomer Step Up Day. And if you missed this one, there'll be one in the spring, so don't worry about that. And we're fortunate that we've got Ian Sawyer back. Ian uh, was on staff for a while, and now he's off uh, getting all educated <laughs> and getting his doctorate in trumpet. But uh, I love having him around so we can pick his brain about uh, topics that are very trumpet specific. And today, the one, it, since it's Step Up Day, that I really wanted to explore is how exactly do you try out an instrument? What are the strategies involved with that? And how can you find the right fit for you. So, Ian, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, there's definitely a lot to consider when you're trying out a new trumpet. Um, it can get pretty overwhelming with all of the different design features that you can get into. You know, are, is it a standard lead pipe versus a reverse lead pipe? What is the, the shape of the tuning slide? Uh, heavyweight, lightweight, different uh, lacquers and finishes and all these things. So really coming in with a goal is really necessary when you're going to try out new equipment. Um, I always like to have a couple of songs ready to go or a couple of things that I'm working on that I'm really familiar with that I know I can play well sure. and that I know what I already sound like. So I'll come in and I'll play those things on as many different instruments as I can get my hands on. Benefit of having an event like this. Yes. Um, <clears throat> so once once you have a good handle on you know, what you're looking for, do you want better articulation? Do you want better core in your sound? Uh, are you struggling with intonation on your current equipment? All these things are things that you need to consider. And doing this under the close supervision of a teacher can be very, very helpful. Having a teacher come with you to try these things out um, to make sure that what you're getting into is going to be a, the best fit for sure. you. Yeah, and I know, um, you know when I'm helping people try out new instruments, th those are the first questions we're asking. What are you currently playing on? What do you like and dislike about it? And what kind of playing are you looking to do? Because if someone's going to be playing in you know, the Greeley Philharmonic versus playing in a big band, th that's a completely different set of uh, circumstances that you're trying to uh, compensate for. That's a great point. Different styles are going to require different sets of equipment. I even play on two different trumpets based on if I'm playing symphonic literature or jazz literature. So it, it really is going to be individual to the player and, and what the needs of the, of the music are. And beyond the scope of what we were initially going to talk about, but if it's not the right time right now to upgrade your trumpet, what are some other things you can do to uh, improve your sound without necessarily making that jump? So things to consider before upgrading your horn uh, our mouthpiece equipment, right? If you're sure. struggling with some sound production things, mouthpieces can be a great place to start on that. Well, that's where the sound is generated. I mean, I always call the rest of this visual noise because the sound is created there and this just amplifies and modifies. Yeah, exactly, right. We have to start with what we're producing and make sure that we're using equipment that's going to give us the best results with what we're trying to produce. Sure. And what's right for you is not going to be right for me, is not going to be right for someone else. So it's, that's the other thing I always try to stress to people. It's a very individualized decision as to what works with your musical goals and also with your physiology. I mean, it, it could just be you know, something oddball to, for you would be the exact right thing for me. Absolutely, and that's why an open mind really is the most important thing when you're trying yep. new equipment. Because some people come in with the thought of, this is what my favorite player plays on. Yeah. But they have a different physique, they have different playing demands, so that might not necessarily be right to you. So definitely don't discount something before you try it. Awesome, well, Ian Sawyer, thank you so much for being here today, helping out with the event, and for sharing your expertise with us. Thanks for having me. If you need help with instruments, repairs, sheet music, or anything band or orchestra, reach out to us at boomermusiccompany.com. And if you like what you hear, do me a favor and tell a friend. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook, and subscribe to our e-newsletter so you will never miss another video or podcast. This is Drew with Boomer Music Company. Thank you for listening.